Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. A A. It's been a while. A A. But I'm back. Your girl is back. <laughs> so it looks like I've missed a few uploads, but I have a reason. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl. A A. It's a girl. A Gen J. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I mean, has it really been that long? Let me check. Hmm. It appears that it's been nine days since I posted. So, I guess it's been a long time in the interweb world. You know what? I've been going through a lot. So, I actually wanted to just sit down, film this video while I take care of this hair. Because what is going on, Jen? Jennifer, what is happening? I don't know, but we're going to take care of her. When I originally did this hairstyle, she looked wonderful, but I only filmed half of it. So I'm actually going to take care of this, revive her so that I can have an intro and outro for the hairstyle video. So I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what's going on with my hair. It's going to be another video, girl. So yeah, let's start with where I've been. Before I do that, I'm going to be using my water bottle to moisturize my hair, refresh my hair, revive my hair. My water bottle is almost done. In here I have live-in conditioner, water, and oil. That's kind of like my lazy way of moisturizing my hair. If you do want to know how I lazily moisturize my hair, then I'll put a video somewhere on the screen. It's almost done, so I'm just going to fill her up with water and I'll be back. I'm back. I didn't put water all the way up there because I do want to add some more live-in conditioner and oil later, but for now I'm just going to use this. So over a week ago, I went ahead and did my hair and we had a little get together and whatnot. So we did that and that night I let my cat out and he hasn't been back since. I know. I know. I don't even think I'm ready to really talk about it because it's a sensitive subject. I posted about it on Instagram actually. I don't know if you know, but if you don't know, Mr. Mimi, that's my cat, he's been with me for 11 years. And he's out there. I just hope that he's safe because he hasn't been back home and it's been driving me kind of insane, okay? It, it's really sad. I just never imagined this is how I would lose him. I don't know. I don't know how to act at this point. It's so sad, you guys. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have pets. They become part of you, like they're your family. Like I miss them around the house. I miss watching TV and not having, you know, him cuddling with me. I really want him to come back. This honestly has completely put me off my game. I kind of been feeling all kind of emotions ever since he's been gone. I've gone around the neighborhood before you ask. I've done everything that I could done. I've put up flyers, I've declared him as lost with the Humane Society, I've gone around and like talked to neighbors, I've joined like a Facebook group in my area and posted about him. I've been going on walks every single day looking for him. I feel like I've done everything that I could. And I'm still going on walks, like I, I haven't given up that he's not coming back. I feel like he will, he's just being like an asshole right now and... <laughs> Or hopefully that's what it is because someone could have also taken him in and I will never see him again. So, <sighs> so the side of my head, I have some kind of design situation going. This is the original style. Again, I don't want to talk about it yet because there is a video coming on this hairstyle. And yes, it did look a lot better. I kind of just let my hair be free, but it looks so good when I first did it. So I can't wait to post about it. Let me just refresh this side and I'll be back. Because I don't want to show you how I did it. I want to save it for the video. So as we do our hair, let's talk about... Well, let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, I actually have a photo shoot tomorrow, so that's super exciting. That's kind of like the reason why I need to do my hair right now. I don't entirely feel like doing my hair, but I'm doing it. So let me tell you guys what I'm using. I'm using the melanin leave-in conditioner. Clearly, I like it. And to seal my hair, I'm using the Shea Butter Mix that I've been using for years. It's by Amo Natural. You probably can't see the packaging, but I'll give you an up-close girl, don't you worry. Ugh, this just, this is my thing. 
once I whip out this combination, I already know my hair is going to be moisturized for days. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I have a photo shoot, so I'm super excited about that. I don't want to tell you guys too, too much, but it's another influencer that's coming out with her own line. I get super excited when influencers are doing big things like that because first of all, it inspires me. And second of all, you know, black girl magic. So do your thing, girl. I am doing the very last little twist and I just wanna show you guys an oil that I've been using. It's by a company called Oil For Your Coils. And I actually went to school with the owner, so super exciting stuff. Like I just mentioned, I love all of the black influencers slash entrepreneur slash all of us that are putting ourselves out there and trying to do something and trying to make something out of us. Support black owned, okay, all the way. Not just today, not just because black life matters now. Support black owned all the time. Anyway, so I've been using her oil. I've had it for about a week. So kind of been using all over my hair, to be honest. So I'm going to pay special attention to my edges because as you guys know, and I'm sure you've noticed, my edges could use some love. Yes, 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 they can. Ever since my little lace front tragedy, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I don't know if I wanna expose myself like that, but, I'll put a video down below. I basically damaged all of my edges and I had a bald spot. It was a nightmare. And it was my first time wearing a lace front as well. So we're not doing that again. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Let me finish this up. All right, so the size is done. Basically, the, what I'm gonna do with the rest of my hair are basically, basically, did I say that already? Basically. <laughs> Basically, what I'm gonna do with the rest of my hair are flat twists going down. How are you guys doing? I, I've been okay. I've been really sad, like I told you about Mr. Mimi. It really hit me hard. I didn't do anything pretty productive all of last week, except for looking for him. That's all I did last week. But then this week, I actually started the 75 hard challenge. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but I heard about it on Instagram. Okay, so it's a challenge that's really going to help me build the discipline that I feel I lack. So the 75 hard challenge, you're supposed to have a healthy diet, work out twice a week, twice a week. You're supposed to work out twice a day. One of those times, you're supposed to be outside and you have to drink a gallon of water daily and read 10 pages out of a self-help book. Apparently there's a podcast around the whole thing. I didn't know about the podcast. I just kind of started based on these rules and it's only been a week. By the way, let me drink my water. I have to finish this to get my gallon in for the day. If you're wondering why my skin is glowing, it's because of skincare, one, and two, I've been drinking my water and minding my business. Originally, I just kind of read the rules on Instagram and I was like, you know, I'll do like a modified version. And I've been pretty good this week. I've worked out twice a day, every day, except for Thursday, it was raining outside. And I haven't been reading as much as I would want to. So I was kind of like playing it by ear, see how I feel. And then one of you guys sent me the original podcast by the person that created it. And I realized I'm playing myself. You're not supposed to cheat at all for 75 days at all. And I've already cheated like three times this week. But I think what I'm gonna do is start over. I'm already starting on the wrong foot. I'm building bad habits at this point when I'm trying to get rid of bad habits. So basically that's what I've been doing. That's kind of like what's been up with me for the past two weeks that I haven't uploaded. I've kind of been in my feelings last week and I'm still in my feelings now, but you know, life goes on. I can't just stop working because Mr. Mimi's missing. Whew, my hair was so shrunken, you guys. I really have to like work to elongate her. I haven't washed my hair in like three weeks. <laughs> By the way, I guess this is kind of like couch conversations. Well, you know what? This is episode two of couch 
conversations yes oh my god i've only had one episode so let me give you guys an update with couch conversations so i think last time we talked about it i said i wanted to have a couch in here blah 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 i don't know if that's gonna work especially with the way the bedroom is set up bedroom turned office i don't know if i'll be able to get a couch in here but I may be able to get like a nice chair or maybe like a bean bag or something like that that may work. So I think I'll do that. It would all depend on obviously like my camera, if I can even have a good angle for couch conversation. But so far, this is going to be couch conversation where we sit down, talk, do our hair. You know what? Let's let's do it. This is couch conversation number two. So the first time around, I talked about like my goals and what's been going on with me, which is kind of like what I'm doing right now anyway. <laughs> this video is all over the place, but if you haven't seen me in two weeks and you miss me, well, this one's for you, sis. Yeah, so let's talk about our goals. When it comes to YouTube, I missed two weeks of uploads, a week, a week and a half of uploads. I'm saying this because I'm hoping to upload this video Sunday. So then I will be back on schedule. So when it comes to YouTube, I missed a few days. We are so, 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 so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers though. <laughs> All right, it's not, it's not time. It's not time for me to talk about this because I'm an act the fool. <sighs> anyway, so we're really, really close. I think I'm at 96,000 now. So four more thousand and we're gonna be swimming with the big, big guys, you know? We're gonna be legit. I think if I was consistent and I didn't miss those uh, two weeks, I would have hit it already, but that's okay, you know what? It was an emotional week, like I said, with Mr. Mimi, so I'm not going to beat myself over it, although I am one of my biggest critics. If you guys don't know me, I'm really, really hard on myself and my goals, especially when I don't accomplish them. So I'm not gonna do that. Basically, we are just gonna hop back on it. There's a lot of videos that I have ready to go. So this video is gonna go up on Sunday. And then I think after that, I'll post the hairstyle because it was super cute. And I think it's going to help a lot of you guys. So I'm gonna post that. And I also wanna post about how to properly detangle 4C hair. Mm, mm. I feel like that's another video that's gonna be super helpful. So I have a lot of videos coming up. I would say to subscribe, but I think anybody who's watching me right now is already subscribed because these type of videos are very like intimate and only the real ones watch them. So if you're a real one, let me know down below. Instagram is also doing good. I think with Instagram, I'm really finding out my little dance. I think last time I told you guys, Instagram I find is it's different. It's kind of hard to grow on Instagram. You have to be super consistent. It's just a very visual platform. So everything has to look pretty. And sometimes I don't look pretty. I look like this. I look a little crazy. So Instagram, we are at 23,000 subscribers, I believe. So I mean, we're still going strong. My goal for this year is to hit 30,000. So I'm slowly but surely getting there. And I think once I implement some of the things that I really wanna implement, then I will for sure hit my goal. So I'm not really too, I'm not worried about it now. But yeah, Instagram's going well. Brand deals, I think that was another thing that I talked about. We are still not making money with these brands. Especially now with Black Lives Matter, I feel like I'm very selective with the type of brands I want to work with. I've always been selective. This is why I don't have a lot of sponsorships. So now more than ever, I would love to work with some black owned brands, but unfortunately, you know, black owned brands just want to, they want you to work for free. That's the reality. There hasn't been a lot of motion going on with brand sponsorships, but we're working on it. We're working on how to market Gen J properly. And I have been working behind the scene on a lot of other things, my own thing. So I'm excited about that. I think that's, that's it in terms of YouTube, Instagram, and brand going on here you guys were gonna tell me that my twist was coming loose huh I'm just going to pin you girls because you're acting up there we go you're gonna learn today I hope you're moisturizing your hair y'all know that's key a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me thank you by the way 
thank you to those of you that reached out to me asking me if I was okay, etc. I'm fine, obviously, but it's appreciated. It's such a kind thing to do when someone reaches out to you when they haven't seen you. It doesn't go unnoticed, just know that. And also, I think it's just, it's such a nice way to just show love. I mean, you guys don't know me personally, but it's still a nice thing to do, and I don't think we do that enough. Just just share a little bit more love and kindness. So I really appreciate it to those of you that reach out to me. Your girl is back, stronger than ever. A little sad, but stronger than ever. Woo. I got like some knots back there, y'all. That's what happens when you just let your hair shrink up. Have you guys noticed how there's been so many distractions that's keeping our attention away from Black Lives Matter? First of all, Jada's and Will entanglement. <laughs> Second of all, Megan Stallion's getting shot. What? Third of all, Kanye's acting a damn fool. So many distractions when Black Lives Matter is actually still going strong. And for you to actually find that information, now you have to search even deeper through all of the noise. Who cares about who Jada is sleeping with? Who cares about Megan Stallion's foot? I mean, like, that's too bad for you, girl. I'm sorry. That looks like it hurts. <laughs> But you're gonna be all right. <laughs> Am I the only one who noticed? Maybe I'm the only one. You didn't notice, that's my point. All right, so I am done. Looks a little crazy. But I mean, setting your hair always looks a little crazy. Gonna put on my hair bonnet. Oh my God, isn't this bonnet great, you guys? <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> If you have braids, this would be perfect. If you don't know where I got my bonnet, I will leave the name down below. That was like a little catch up. Can I help you? Anyways, it was nice catching up with you guys in this little installment of Couch Conversations. I hope that you're doing well, it's been a while but I really miss just sitting down and talking to a camera and talking about hair, etc. Oh, I should give you guys a little hair update. My hair has been doing well. It did look a little crazy, but I've been moisturizing her. You know, she has her own personality. I have to call her her. She is doing well. I'm happy with her progress. My ends are still feeling good from trimming. I'm really stretching wash day right now. It's been about three weeks since I washed my hair, but like I said, I have a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm not going to bother, but hopefully I will wash Sunday or at least Monday. Like I need to, my scalp is starting to feel a little funky. Let me know how you're doing and I will see you guys in my next video. You know what, tomorrow I'll come back and show you a snippet of what my hair looks like, but keep in mind this hairstyle is going to be a full video on its own. I hope you're doing well and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I said I was gonna pop back in the next day. This is me the next day. Don't we clean up nice, huh? This is what my hair looks like. Ah, oh, she is so beautiful. Dirty hair just have that thing. I'm late, so I have to get up out of here. I'm not gonna stay long. I wanted to pop by because I said I was going to and because I look so cute, you know? Yeah, happy Saturday. My check one, two, one, two. All right, so it is the end of the day and Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Where do I start? This hair, y'all, this hair. Um, Clearly, this is not my hair. If you watch this video, then you know what I look like earlier, but we got a little bit of help added. So basically where I was going, I don't know if I meant, I think I mentioned that I was going on a photo shoot and here I am, I came back from the photo shoot. This is what my hair looks like. I just had to share with someone, you know, that would understand my excitement because you know, people in my house are like, Jen, you're crazy. <laughs> I left my house looking one way and I came back looking another way. So yeah, this is what the hair looks like. There's still my little visage that I did on the side, which I think works wonderfully with this hairstyle. On this side, we have few tracks of clip-ins. I think I have, I think there are four tracks in here. I didn't do them, you know, 
where I went for the photo shoot. She hooked it up. Anyways, I just wanted to share what I look like with you guys and wrap this video up. I feel like I should have made an intro looking like this. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for the support. We are almost at 100,000. I'm so excited about that. We should do something. We should do something. Oh my God, we should totally do something. If you have any ideas, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.